Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and this being my very first video of 2019, I really want to say Happy New Year to you guys. I hope you guys are off to a great start. For today's video, I wanted to do a first impressions video on, I can't believe I'm going to say this, from Beauty Bakery. I was really taken by surprise to see Beauty Bakery in my DM on Instagram. It, it just really means a lot to me for big companies such as Beauty Bakery to reach out to a smaller influencer like myself. So they were kind enough to send me some products for me to try and test out and share with you guys so I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here I just really want to quickly talk about the packaging it says sweet tooth much and it's like all pink of course pink is my favorite color I think the packaging is super cute and the first product that I see here is a setting powder and as you guys can see it says flower on here like a real bakery I thought I thought that was super cute. I have never tried anything from Beauty Bakery, but I have seen them all over social media, so I'm pretty stoked about trying these products. So on here it says, Beauty Bakery Flower, Better Not Bitter. That's what that looks like there. And this powder is translucent. I hope that this works out for me, because I do have a few powders that are really nice on the skin, but I do get flashbacks, so I'm gonna test that out for you guys. So on the little packaging, it says, for a natural looking baked bee, try our lightweight matte flower setting powder. Great for setting makeup or baking, of course. It says baking tips on the back, and it says that this can be applied two ways. One, using a brush, you can lightly dust your entire face for a full matte look. Or two, with a gentle pressure, use a makeup sponge to apply the flower to your T-zone to absorb excess oil. The next product in this package is this eyelash icing black mascara. The packaging looks like real icing. A few months ago, we did receive a mascara from BoxyCharm. If you guys have BoxyCharm, you guys probably received this Unlashed Mascara by Wander Beauty. And the packaging is like this one, so I really, really love this mascara because once you're kind of running out of mascara, you can kind of squeeze it down and move the wand around. I'm basically out of this, so I'm pretty happy that I got one of these. I think this packaging for mascara is genius. I love it. What I am kind of iffy about is that this is waterproof mascara, so it's for you guys that don't have the proper makeup removers, it is kind of hard to get waterproof mascara off. So the makeup remover that I have been loving lately is this Pharmacy Green Clean makeup remover, and it literally removes everything, like my hardest matte lipsticks to remove, they just like melt off with this. Again, this is the Pharmacy Green Clean makeup remover. This baby does not budge, it does not bleed, it does not flake, clump, or smudge at all. I'll be the judge of that today. So this is a pretty decent size palette and once you open it up here, these are all the 12 eyeshadows that are in this palette. Just by looking at it, I feel like all of these are shimmer shadows. I don't see any mattes like it states. I feel like I say this every time, but I'm not going to be doing an everyday kind of look with this palette only because I really liked the packaging. I love that everything is bakery themed so that's what I'm going to be doing, a bakery theme inspired makeup look. If you're into painting and crazy makeup looks then just go ahead and keep on watching. No, I'd rather be waking up with you, set up alone in your room, slept with the light on, waiting up for you, don't, I don't want to be. On this eye, I'm going to be using the palette and I'm going to try to use as many colors as I possibly can. I really don't have an idea of what I'm going to be doing. It's just going to kind of flow in. So yeah, just thought you should know. So on my eyes right now, I am applying Curity's primer all over the lid. Since most of these eyeshadows are shimmers, I really want to make sure that I have a base down so that all those, all those shimmers just pop. I picked the scotch tape up from my local Target. You guys can find a bunch of different like patterns and just a bunch of cute shit at Target and I'm just going to be using this just so that I have a clean line where the eyeshadow ends. And I want to make sure that this is a little bit past my eyebrow here. The very first color that I'm going to be taking is this one here called Cakester. On the back it says that there are matte shades. All these are shimmers. I don't, I don't get it. I don't want to use any other palettes aside from this one, so let's just hope that this look pulls together. I just want to brighten the lid here. Oh god, I'm already regretting it. Switching to a different brush. I'm going to be taking the Sigma E55 brush and I'm just going to pack this color on instead of trying to blend it with a blending brush. Just to brighten it up first, and then I'm going to go back in and blend. 
I literally took all of the shimmer eyeshadow all the way to my brow bone. Um, let's see, I'm gonna take the color Dragon Cone, which is this one here. And taking a Morphe brush, this does not have the number as I always tell you. It's just a fluffy pencil looking brush. And I feel like Dragon Cone is the only eyeshadow that it doesn't look as shimmery as the rest. I'm gonna begin just tapping it on and then I'm gonna blend. So this is a little bit difficult to work with at the crease. So now what I'm doing, I'm just packing it on with my finger because as you guys can see, that really does look a little bit more intense. Now I'm going to take Beats Landing, which is this one here, and this is also a shimmer. I'm taking this on a firm shader E57 brush and just tapping that on to intensify because Dragon Cone wasn't doing that for me. Okay, girl. Trust me, we're going to make it work. We gotta make it work. A.M. A.M. Yes, I am gonna do a cut crease. I just applied a very small amount of the Tarte Shape Tape. I just tapped it on a little bit just to create a guide. You guys might not be able to see it, but I definitely can. I used a small amount of concealer because I'm gonna be dipping into the Green Clean Makeup Remover. I'm gonna remove all of the eyeshadow on my lid and man, I get some hate on Instagram sometimes when my videos go viral. They never go viral on my page, but when I get reposted by a like a big brand, of course they go viral. And I'm tempted to read the comments sometimes and a lot of people like ask, why would you just remove all of the eyeshadow that you put on your lid and that's because once I apply the concealer over the eyeshadow the eyeshadow that's on my eye starts to like come through once you apply the concealer over I just really want a clean cut crease I want it to be crisp know what I mean now for sure going in with that concealer I'm going to take the color Cake Setter once again and I'm going to be applying that to the inner water duct on a flat brush. As you guys can see, look how pretty that is. It really does brighten your inner eye. Using the same brush, I'm going to dip into the color Storm, which is this one here. Same brush going into the color grayscale, which is this one here. Applying that really close to the color storm. You know what? I'm gonna go in with my finger. I really wanna use this one here, which is the color Snow Queen, and taking my finger and applying that right next to Slay Scale. I've been living for this color. This is like one of my favorite colors. Obviously, my hair is this color. I'm literally trying to use every color in here. We're gonna go with poppy seed because poppy seed looks like a really, really pretty color. It has like, I don't know what to call that color. Ooh. Jeffree Star's palette has like a similar eye color, eyeshadow like this one. I like it. I love it actually. All right, and I'm gonna take the color Valor, which is the darkest shade in the palette and I'm gonna tap with the same brush that I use to apply almost every color here and just begin tapping that here. Going back in with a pencil brush, this is the E30 by Sigma. I'm gonna dip back into Beats Landing which I applied at the crease. Before all these colorful shades, I'm gonna just intensify the crease. Sorry, I can't talk. If you like cut creases, this is a brush that you must have. Again, this is a Sigma E30. I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe fluffy pencil looking brush and just blend that out. I'm gonna be using this Liquid Genius High IQ Liquid Liner. This is by Ruby Kiss Cosmetics and this is in the color Luxurious Gold. As you guys can see, that liner kind of did divide all of these eyeshadows and that darker shade a lot more. So let's just go ahead and remove this tape here. 
I'm looking a little bit cray cray right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and I'll be right back. I have the rest of my foundation on now, but I decided I'm gonna take the liner all the way out and bring it in, kind of like I did in my last video. I'm using some of this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Glitter just to go over the gold liner. Taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Mm, I'm almost out. I am definitely gonna go get more concealer now that I know Jeffree Star's concealer is not coming out till February. I really like how this brush just kind of gets in there. This is the Moda Pro BMX 250 Chisel Brush. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I'm just going to put that to use to contour. And apply it here on the forehead. I'm taking the Ruby Kiss Cosmetics eyeliner and this is in pastel green. Taking the color Snow Queen, I'm gonna apply that right underneath, very gently. And then I'm just blending that out. Taking the color Beats Landing, I'm gonna be using the Luxie 131 Mini Angled Brush and just tapping that at the outside. Here. I'm so glad that I applied some powder underneath because I definitely got fallout with that. I really want to darken up my cheeks and make them look a little bit more intense, so I'm going to take the Luminous Cosmetics Contour Cut to Contour Palette and I'm going to be using this color here, the Mocha shade. Taking that on a Curity F25 brush, focusing on this part here. Alright, so now I'm going to be applying the mascara. I hate applying mascara on camera, but since this was sent to me, I'm going to go ahead and try that. I already popped on some lashes, now I'm going to finish the rest of the face, but I already used all of the products that were sent to me by Beauty Bakery. If you want to hear my thoughts on all the products that I received, then just keep watching. So this is the final look. Let's go ahead and jump into my first impressions of the products. First item is going to be the Game of Cones 
Fury of the Oven eyeshadow palette. I love a lot of the shimmers in this palette. What I do not like is the fact that I'm going to have to be using other palettes to use this one because they're all shimmers. I did not see one matte color. I'm going to show you guys four of my favorite colors from this palette. The first one is going to have to be Poppy Seed, which is this one here. It has like a color shift to it. That's this one here, and in the palette it looks green, and then you swatch it and it looks like a brown, maroon color. That is a really beautiful color. The other one that I didn't get to use, but I did swatch, is Burn Cloak. And this one here is called Snow Queen. This one here is called Storm. This one here is a very subtle pink, but it has a, what do you call it, like a shift, like a color shift. It has like some purple tones in there. It's a really pretty color. Alright, I'm going to show you guys five. The fifth one is called Cakeless Men. Like I said before, all of these eyeshadows are very beautiful, but since they're all shimmers, it's hard to create a full look using the palette. I do have a lot of other eyeshadow palettes, so I really don't mind that they're all shimmers because I can definitely put all of those eyeshadows to use to create different looks. Next, we have this waterproof mascara, which it's hard to give my thoughts in regards to a mascara because I just put it on now and I'm not going out anywhere looking like this. I can't confirm that it's not going to bleed, flake, or clump. Well, actually, with the bleeding, I don't have any problem with that so far. Um, as far as volumizing and my eyelashes are just very thin, I, I feel like any mascara does the same thing. To me, any mascara that does not flake is amazing to me. So if you want to know my thoughts about it, I'm going to go ahead and wear it all day tomorrow. And then I'll keep you guys updated on my Instagram stories. I'm going to insert a picture here just to show you guys that I did not get any flashback using this powder and I'm really enjoying this. I feel like it softened up my skin and made it look airbrushed. So I'm definitely going to continue using it and share my further thoughts with you guys. So that's it for this makeup tutorial. Hopefully you guys did enjoy me stepping out of the box and creating something different. Happy New Year you guys and if you guys have time be sure to check out my latest videos which are going to be right over here and also if you hit the little circle with my with my circle. If you guys click on the circle with my picture in it, it subscribes you to my channel in case you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!